Very good. All right. Um, so anyway, I'm Barry Bird. I'm here in New Jersey. I'm just an ordinary student in the course. Um, I have nothing to, I'm not associated with Udacity or with Google. I'm taking the course like everybody else. Um, if you haven't already done so, you can sign up to get email, evaluate, email notifications of future online meetups that I'm doing by signing up on a spreadsheet that I've created on Google Sheets or Google Docs or something like that. I'm going to hold up the URL for that. I don't know if you can read it or not. Can somebody say yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, I will read it out loud after I've held it up for a minute. It's one of those awful tiny URL things with that I didn't bother to customize. And it is tinyurl.com slash lowercase y nine two lowercase o n as in Nancy six lowercase t as in Tom Q as in quixotic, or else you can direct message me on B Bird on the Slack community. That's B B B U R D as in Barry Bird. And yes, to spell bird correctly, you have to use a U, not an I. Um, I'm I say an I for an I and a U for a U. Okay, all right. Hey, um, yeah. Um, real quick, a number of the other people who are using the web meeting software yeah. kind of co-opted the Hawaii channel. So, Pound Sign Hawaii. Okay. Everybody in there is using the web meeting software, either for the daily or for something like this. So if you want to put a link in there, so it's nice and easy for everyone to find. Okay. On the Hawaii channel, and then that way we have something. I'm not sure that I understand what you're saying. So maybe this is something you can tell me. Is this something that you can tell me after this meeting? I'm just saying that if you were just holding up a URL. Yeah. You could post it to the Hawaii channel and everybody could find it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we'll do. The one that's posted it, I guess. I'm, it's posted everywhere. I put it, I put it, I have spammed the channels with this. But anyway, um, if you need to reach me again, um, I just thought it's posted it on chat so everybody can get it. Oh yeah. boy, okay. It's, it's everywhere. Somebody's got some weird loud noise going on? No, okay, all right. Um, so, reminder that we're going to record this and I'll post it somewhere soon. And so, Pranit Kulkarni. And he's gonna he's going to correct my pronunciation when he gets started talking. Is gonna do a talk and then a QRA on uh, Recycler View. Um, he'll tell you a little bit about himself, and then um, we'll hear all about this wonderful stuff. And first, how how did I do in pronouncing your name? So it's Pranit Kulkarni. Okay, one more time, yeah. just so that I can maybe hear it. Yeah. Slowly. Pr yeah, Pranit. Kulkarni. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. And you're a developer, a veteran developer in the New York City area, right? Yeah. Like I'm doing my master's oh. right now and I'm an intern Bye. at, yeah, I'm an intern at uh, Appetizer Mobile. Cool. And yeah. So I'm a Google certified associate Android developer. So I passed this exam like in 2016 and I've been working in Android like since 2015. So that's when the material design came new uh, to developers. And yeah, so I have pretty much experience with Android, iOS, mostly in Android. I have my own apps as well on the Google Play Store. So I've, I've been oh, I tried your I tried your Algo yeah. app. That is cool. Sorry. That is cool. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I demonstrated it in class too. Oh, that, yeah. thank you, thank you very much. Um, Anyway, talk yeah. to us. Tell us all about yeah. this. Anxious to hear it. Yeah. So basically, recycle. I will start with uh, about Recycler View. So let me see if I can share a PPT with you guys. Just give me a moment. You might need my. Pr oh no. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the? PPT? Yes. Yeah, I'll be cool. Yeah, so I'll just move next. 
that's a bit about me. I'll just skip it right now. Okay, so what exactly is a recycler view? So basically, uh, why they replaced it with uh, a list view? So what what happened is, suppose you have a long list which has like it comes like tons of hundreds and two hundreds, three hundreds of elements, and uh, just to be loaded you know very fast like you uh, scroll facebook every day and you know you keep on scrolling keep on scrolling so it's a lot of data that needs to be handled right so just as you keep on scrolling each every view is in the memory so what google came up with is recycler view is something that basically recycles the view so like you scroll past uh, like you have 10 elements on the screen you can see and you once like scroll down and scroll down so the elements that were like you have scrolled up they are again recycled down so that you know the performance of the list is much better so that's basically why they replace the list view with the recycler view that was the most important thing like the performance factor so basically it's like repetitive elements i like i hope like uh, you must have seen like uh, common apps like contacts emails it's all built on a recycler view so yeah so what uh, what you can the common example this i say okay so yeah so what all do you need to build a recycler view so first thing is a basic layout thing where you can add a recycler view object and then uh just a list item, like it's a single item that you use similarly in list view, where you just need a single item, which will say like what, what each item you need to be, what will be the format of the layout. And data, like you can have an array, you can have an array list. If anyone is not familiar with any terms I'm using, please stop me and ask me to explain more or if you feel I'm going too fast or something, so please let me know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, list and array list or array or something that which can which you can use to put in the recycler view, and the last and the main thing that's like an adapter. It's it's basically a class where you write the code to tell how the recycler view should behave. And it's mainly the reason why recycler view looks to be complicated is the adapter that's need to be written. It's a bit more complicated than how it was earlier. So once you get used to writing an adapter, then recycler view is not really difficult. So to start with, uh, I have made a small app as well, which I would like to show you. Like I will show you the code so that you will probably get to know it more, you know, efficiently and properly. So if you're not familiar with adding your, uh, like the compile line and your Gradle, either of them, you can add it in your Gradle and your app will start supporting the recycler view. So what do you need a basic layout? So suppose you have, uh, this is an activity and you just need to put a recycler view in it. So what do you need is just uh, a recycler view object. Oops. Yeah, a recycler view object and that's it. Like on the layout side, you don't need to do anything else for the recycler view. Then, one imp one different thing that came for recycler view is the layout manager so basically layout manager tells the recycler view how it's going to be how it's going to be behaving so suppose if you need a horizontal list you can do it with the layout manager so basically you can tell the layout manager how the layout is going to be if you want it horizontal it can be a horizontal list and you don't need to do like don't need any hard work to just make it vertical or horizontal. And you can also customize the layout manager, which is like quite at an advanced level, which we won't much look into because uh, it probably needs a lot more experience. Now, if we go back, can we go yeah. back? Oh, wait, yeah, sure. the slide. Yeah. The layout manager that you're referring to yeah. is the relative layout that no. surrounds the, no? 
No. So this layout manager is something that you can add to a recycler view. And whether okay. you have, you need to specify a basic layout manager to the recycler view. And suppose if you need to do it like more operations on it, like if you need a grid layout, uh, you know, or maybe you need a horizontal one. Okay. Yeah. So like kind of you see in Instagram stories, there are horizontal scrolling in between. So, so this, is to, this. this is this is to lay out a yeah. single element in the in the list. Oh uh, yeah, basically this is the layout, the layout, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is basically to tell the recycler view how the layouts will uh, coordinate with each other basically. Right, right. So like you need it like normal one is like the uh, vertical one, but if you need it like uh, so, uh, swipe it horizontally you can tell the layout manager it, it's going to be horizontal or suppose if you have used google keep app are you guys familiar with that mostly i think so you should be i i haven't used it but maybe okay. other people okay I so love google keep yeah i use it every yeah. day yeah so bit, basically it's a recycler which has a staggered layout manager so basically, it's more complicated. I will just I'm just saying, uh, telling you so that you will get to know what layout manager actually does. But yeah. I have a question. So yes, for the recycle view, can we have a mm -hmm. recycle view within another recycle view? Like, let's say the main layout manager, which is this one, is just for yeah. scrolling up and down vertically, and then for each um, portion that is. Uh, how should I call it? Each block that is being scrolled, the yeah. each object, can I have that as a recycler view as well? So we can scroll left and right, horizontal. Well, I haven't tried that, per, like personally, I haven't tried that. But I guess we can do it, but that will be very like uh, bad in performance. So what usually uh, we can do is we can have multiple, like if we, if we know that it's all, all, are, all are gonna be horizontal, we can have multiple recycler views which are horizontal uh, which have horizontal layout manage and yeah but but that's only one like what i would like is basically a vertical a nested recycler view, view. view right nested okay. and another nested. Reason. yeah you can i guess probably do that i haven't tried it personally like uh, but i think so we can manage to do that i haven't tried it that's an interesting question but okay. uh, what I did, like I had, I had to do this kind of behavior. So I had like two layouts which were horizontal, and then the rest of them were vertical. So what I did was I had two recycler views above, and the third recycler view which is vertical. So in I that see. way, yeah, and all these recycler views were inside a nested scroll view. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I have a point with at the in the end, which uh, how you can add it inside a scroll view so that it behaves you know the scrolling does not um, behave very weird so what so you will need a recycler view list items basically one layout that you need to tell like this is gonna be the basic layout like of the each element that will be in the recycler so right now i just made like a relative layout and a text view to show a uh, city name uh, let me just show you some code add in are you able to see the android studio i'm using i'm good i can read it yes okay. everybody else yes yes okay okay so i made a basic activity i will show you the layout first so this is the layout that i added in the ppt Okay, so I have taken its object using find view by ID. And this is the layout manager that I told we need to specify one layout manager. And you can't basically run it without setting a layout manager to recycle view. So if you are, if you don't really have to do anything with the layout manager, you can just say that it's, it's a linear layout manager and you just pass a context to it and that's it. So unless you have to do any hard work with the layout manager, you can just do this and move ahead. So now. So Pranit, yeah. Um, yeah. The, so the layout manager is a method of the recycler view? Yeah. Right? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any other methods of the recycler view that um, are commonly used, like in a lot of different apps that uh, use the recycler view? I'm just curious. Okay, so there is one like if you know like the recycler view height is fixed, so you can have like recycler as fixed height size. As, yeah, and you say true. So this is like, uh, if you okay. know, like, you know, this is gonna take the complete uh, uh, height of the, um, what I can say, the layout, parent layout. You can specify that it has a fixed size and probably Google says that it will have a bit more better performance while rendering because it will know in advance that it has a fixed size. Okay, cool. Was that helpful? Okay. So now you need to set an adapter to it. So I guess in the list view, uh, we could specify directly uh, and a string array or something and directly the list view will work with it. So uh, here what you need, what we need to do is we need to build a separate adapter. So I will just show you the adapter. Yeah, so what you need in this recycler view adapter is three things. Like first thing is you need to pass the array or whatever you have. I will first start with an array so it will be easier to explain and understand as well. So I just made a constructor here uh, where I just pass the context and the array. So this is the array that I got from the activity, which is just has the list of some cities. The next thing is on create view holder. So these three functions like the, which says that override. So these uh, three, uh, like these methods are to be implemented so that we can tell recycler view what we really need to do. So like in on create view holder, basically we need to tell what kind of, like what layout we will be using to the recycler view. So you can see that I have, um, Taking this layout, simple list item. So this is the one that I made it on my own. And I, I specified it here. That this is the layout that should be used. This layout inflator is basically, uh, which is used for inflating any layout uh, in Android. So this is different from the layout yeah. manager that you were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. This is different. This adapter is basically uh, where you need you specify like you know what each item in the recycler you should do, and also like get item count is basically how many items you have. So basically the um, length of the recycler view, like how many items you have. That's basically just the array length. This is this this is a class that uh, I I made it myself like which extends the basic recycler view view holder. So basically, view holder is something that holds a single view that we have built. So this single view, suppose like uh, I, I have uh, added a text view, right? So now what I need to do is each item of the array should should be specified to that text view in the recycler view. So in this my view holder that I've written, basically you need to do the find view by these like getting the text views and all other UI related elements in here. So you can see that I, the city name is basically a text view in the simple list item. Yes. Yeah. So here you specify what all UI elements will be included in a single view holder. And this view holder is reused here in on bind view holder. So this on bind view holder is the function where you write how, what each uh, element in the recycler view will do. So you can see that here I have done set text for the text view. This is where you need to specify what you actually need to present 
in each element of the recycler wheel. Are you guys clear with what I explained right now? If you have any doubts, please go ahead with them. So a uh, quick question um, yeah. on the simple adapter part where you're creating the constructor, is that yeah. then being called by the super item view below? Is that what um, it looks like? Yeah, in the uh, right there where it says super item view, is that basically calling that constructor? Yeah, so basically here, on create view is where you say that, okay, return me a view holder, which will have this layout. And the layout that we inflate, this layout is passed to the my view holder here. And so the item you will basically have the layout which we specified here in on create view holder. So like once we specify that this item, this layout should be used, this layout is passed here. And so you could actually take this text view from this item. view. Okay, so, so that, that layout's passed in, but then super, um, doesn't that reference the parent? Uh, I guess it would reference the parent item view or whatever's passed in, right? Yeah, this, this, this one, the simple list item. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. So the list item will be the item view here. And so you can uh, fetch all the UI elements that you will be adding using find view by ID. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem. And then here you can specify. So what I did is I took position value. So position is basically what position of the uh, recycler view it is. So suppose you have, I will just run and so what I did is I made another recycler view, which is a bit more complex, like uh, so in that I just had a text view. Here, what I'm doing, I'm having three elements, which has like a city name, country name, and I just say that company is found in a city. Just give me a moment. So it looks like on create view holder actually tells Android what to do when you need to create a view holder. Yeah. It's it, on create view holder really sort of stands for on a request to create a view holder. Here's what you do. Yeah. So basically it takes like what should be your view holder. Okay. And on, on yeah. bind view holder says what to, what am I going to put in the view holder? What am I going to, what am yeah. I going to do when I, when I display it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So on create will just create a view holder and on bind will you will basically go on binding. What they say is each view you want to tell what each view will do. Are we waiting for the emulator to show up? Is that yeah, what the emulator to show up? Is that yeah, yeah, maybe just one quick question on yeah, that sure. on create view holder is when on create is called then you execute that code or after the view has been created then upon that creation execute the code which one sorry i just switched one. basically is on create view holder called when there's a request to create one or after one has been created yeah, when there's a request to create one. Yeah, when there's and, a request. and so what happens is like when you keep on scrolling the recycler view, the on bind view holder is called. So basically if it, like 10 views are created, so you will be having like 10 view holders in the recycler view and 
on bind view will be called as per the position that is visible on the screen. So I guess what I was observing is that on create view holder is a slightly unintuitive naming for that method because when I read the name on create view holder, it sounds like it's saying, here's what to do when the system has already created a view holder, but that's not really it. It's what to do when there's a request to create a view holder. Am I interpreting this correctly? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Is the emulator visible to that? So we see the emulator now. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the recycler that that I just showed you the code for. It's just basic like what I can show you is like the city name takes with the position value and the city's position. So basically as per the recycler view position, it takes the position from the array and shows it here. So like if you like it if it was like a list of 200 elements and you keep on scrolling here so what it does it suppose it has like 10 views right now here you scroll keep on scrolling keep on scrolling this on bind view holder get it you know it keeps on refreshing the views and what android does in background is to keep uh you know uh, not the uh, to avoid like a uh, Using a lot of memory for from the recycler view, it just uh, destroys some elements above, and then reuses it in the bottom so that you will have a better performance, and there will be no lag um, while scrolling big elements. So is the simple uh, like the recycler view clear to you guys? It's definitely more clear than it was. Although I haven't done, I just started the recycler view portion, so I haven't gone through all of the lessons yet. Okay. So yeah, you, it's a bit, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Um, you created the my view holder class. Yeah. And what I see is that you're just sort of um, using that so that the view holder that you create remembers its own text view yeah and i'm just wondering um does that play a special role in this app i because the app is simple i'm wondering no like yeah um, yeah so when we have like a complicated like a complex layout where you know we have like at least 10 elements that's where when you can utilize it very properly like you have your okay. own like, yeah Okay. But you could probably in this app get away without it, right? Um you usually don't have recycler, you know, like that has a single item. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's like usually followed and I usually follow the same technique everywhere because sure. even once we get used to one particular thing, it's better to do do that so that you can uh, trace it properly. So if you want I can write a adapter again so that maybe you guys will understand I'm it gonna, i'm gonna move away for just a second continue yes. without me yeah sure are you fine if i build an adapter again so that maybe you will be more friendly sure. Helpful? sure sure yeah. yeah okay so here i have written a complex recycler as well this is a different activity which again has a recycler view let me check if i have added no this one does not have I'll just copy this layout. What's wrong with the track point? This one has a recycle view. So what I did is like when we have, suppose it's not like just an array. Now I will be having like a name, 
I, I'm just saying like it has like number of companies in the city and which country it is. So now here I have here like three um, parameters that will be having in each object. So I made a model which will basically give me, you know, with uh, I will use an array list of this model so that I can uh, utilize it properly in the adapter. Are you guys fine with this structure? Looks good to me. Yeah, it's basic Java um, encapsulation that you do. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Sorry. So what I'll do is I'll build my own. So it's working a bit slow for the due to too many applications running right. Where I have like three text two three text views right now. Can I interrupt with a dumb question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. When you get you so I got I'm getting a little seeing a little pop up that comes up that says I haven't already imported text view. And I know that if I do alt enter, yeah, and I'm seeing that pop up then it's going to import text view. I also know that I can have it automatically do the imports if there's not an ambiguity. Is there a way to get Android Studio forcibly to show me the pop-up when the text view word is read? I've been trying to find that out for a long time now. Uh, it'll, it'll, it, the pop-up will show up, say, do you want to import text view? And then it'll disappear before I can acknowledge it and do alt enter. Oh yeah, that happens. Like you press something, you go to click it and it disappears, right? That's what yeah. you see? Yeah, um, not really. All I right, okay. Know. Yeah, All right. that really happens. Just, the, I thought I'd ask, you're the yeah. nine millionth person that I've asked that question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, I can see. I'm just doing a basic find view by view. So just Where you put the text view there and then you list things um, with commas, is that just basically shorthand rather than doing text view, companies, yeah. Chat text? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So as you can see, usually we do an activity is find view by view directly. But since this is an adapter, we need to tell them like, Item view dot find view by view. So it will find the view in, you know, so you can see it doesn't have any. So the reason you're doing item view find view by ID is because your complex adapter doesn't have its own find view by ID because it doesn't extend anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So we need to then find the views in this item view. Okay, so now I have all the three views that I have, yeah, which I created here. It's like this is one text view, then I have a linear layout, which is a vertical linear layout, so that I'm gonna have a city name, country name, and account here. Okay. 
So now what I'll do is I'll say it extends recycle view dot enter. And here I will specify my view holder. So enter dot you can see so the view holder that I have written below, you can see it here. So now we tell the adapter that you are supposed to use the view holder that I have written. I'm just going to do a bit of shortcut. So these three methods are to be implemented so that you know, the recycler has complete information. So now we need to pass the pass some data here so that you know we can write our code. So what I'll do is. So you can see I'm adding a new layout manager and you can say that new layout. So here you can see there are like three options. If you are going with a vertical, uh, like a normal recycler, you can just select the first one, like give it a context and that's it. If you need to change the orientation of the recycler, you can use the second one, the second constructor, which is like give me context, give me orientation, and give me if it's a reverse layout, like it's upside down. So we'll just give this. And at this point, does it? matter how you there are a couple different ways of getting the context at this point does it yeah, yeah what does it matter which way you choose or does it are there are there bad ways to get a context ways that you can get the context and yeah. and, the, and the app doesn't work yeah that's a good question so uh, this will matter a lot when you're using of using it inside of fragment because fragments usually tend to lose context at times when you know you keep on switching them with other activities and you keep on switching apps so at that time it will it, it, it is better to use um, you know the activities context but if you don't have the activity in memory it probably won't crash and sometimes get application context can be heavier as well so you can do this as well like complex recycler dot this Is it good? Okay. It's good for me. I don't. I'm, okay. Yeah. Everybody else okay? No, th that was a good I, I, Not that I not that I would know exactly which one to choose now, but yeah. Um, yeah, it it matters a bit, not much, but yeah. Okay. Especially when you're using fragment, that's when it you know sometimes gives some crashes in some old devices. Are you guys familiar with an array list? Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Array lists, are they um, unique to Java? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you... I'm new to Java actually, so. Oh, okay. So this is something basically that we need to, you know, tell the recycler that, okay, we have, this is the data that we have and you need to show this. So this can be in different ways as well. So I'm using an array list. So I won't add much elements right now because it may take some time. Okay. 
right now just add three so if you see this adapter this this need something where you can pass the data to it so what i will do is I'll just write a basic constructor So this city will so when we create that after these arrays will be initialized with the values that we will send it from the activity now we can tell that tell the recycler that okay the length of the recycler will be the length of the array or if it's a array list is the size of the array list that will be the length of the recycler list. I will now, now I'm using someone asked me about the super constructor like the constructor that will be called so here we tell that okay use my my view holder okay so here we need contact so that's the reason I just pass context there can be different ways you can pass the context to this you can also make make uh, the adapter abstract and implement it in a different way I'm just specifying the right. So here I will tell that it's okay, complex. Name. These are some parameters that uh, common, like that's how they are usually used. I'm not very much like I mean, why exactly this is to be called like this attached to this. The parameters basically the recycler use parameters use parameters. And now, basically, what we have to tell is each element should, you know, specify like each element from the city. Right? So here, if you see, if I keep this blank, nothing will happen in the recycle. Way. So what I will take is I will take the like, one object uh, from the from the array list. So now position will help us to know which exactly data we need from the list which position exactly this is one of the and here so to access the elements like the text views or if you have an image view or anything else to access it you need to write like folder dot and whatever it is so this is an integer so when you call, say set text it should be a string I'm just making sure that So these are separate holders that you're creating for each of the um, bits of data. You mean the cities that I'm using? Yeah. So country name, companies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is like one model that I made it myself. So like, you know, I know that this has a name like the city name, then the mm -hmm. number of companies and country, and then these are the methods that. I know I, uh, I'm using to initialize it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So now, 
so this is enough right now to show like like for each element show the country name show the company's name and show the city so just try this thing so now we have the i now we need to uh, make an object for our adapter that we just need just name complex adapter you can name it better maybe i'm just continuing it can be fast so again you need to pass a context here and the data that we need to send so the city is added specifically and now i think we will just have to set the data now the recycler we will use this adapter to show what we are saying and so you can see that we have okay we will do this okay. Just run this. Can you wait? Can you go back to that slide again, or the, yeah, sure. the that code? This one? Yeah, I'm just trying to okay. what you what you just did there. Yeah. Okay. So this is the main one. This is the no, main I mean the. Oh. Oh. I see. So you've added two recycler views. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I just made two activities so that it will be simpler to, you know, show both of them together. So this is basically the button, and then I open the activity. Okay. I I so in order to make it work, you have to set on click listeners so you have to create a listener for touches right is that what that yeah. is yeah yeah so for this each of the buttons i uh, specified you know what it should do when it's click but i think this is this is um a feature of your app that has a button for each Recycler yeah. view, it's not a feature inherent to recycler views. No, no, I just made like two pages, so that's why I kept no. two buttons so that I can switch to them. You can kind of like uh, right now, you can ignore this. This is not part of the recycler. View. Oh, so something is missing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is like this is the you know most difficult part when you are new to recycling like writing the adapter because that's a bit more work that we need to do as compared to you should do back in this way. But Android says that you should use uh, recycling view for better performance. So only one is it no. Oh, you see, I had made some mistake here. I need to scroll the whole page so that I can read it. So I'll just tell you. So th this commonly happens sometimes when you're new because what happened is with this list item, this has height match parent. So what it is doing is each element in the recycler view has match parent, so it is taking a complete stream. So I need to make this. So I'm just curious after uh, this session, 
Um, do you yeah. think you could share the files for the recycler view you built that we're going over? Just so yeah, we sure. have- Yeah, sure, I will, I will share you the whole source code. Okay, If, if cool. you email them to me, then I'll, I'll post them. Or, yeah, sure, or if you post them and just send me the URL. Okay. Yeah, you see? So in this way you can, you know, write an adapter according to your needs, but you need like an image view along with this, you know, whatever layout you have, you just, build the layout here in one list item then you tell the adapter that okay this is the layout that i want to use and these are the ui elements that i would need for the holder so that you know you can write the code that what each holder like what should be done like when the each element in the recycler view is loaded so that's one example of like how I use Recycler View in my app. So this is, so Barry knows about this app. So this is an algo prep for specifically you know, sorting and searching made easy. So we, what we did is used uh, different sorting algorithms and to explain each step of the sorting algorithm, we used a Recycler View. So like this, this, you can see this, this one layout. This is just a single layout and it's repeated everywhere. And I customize it according to my needs. So there's a lot of code for this so that it should display exactly what each step is doing. So that's just an example. You can go through the app as well if you like. So like someone just asked like, what can you do if you have like horizontal as well as vertical, you know, uh, scrolling in between. So, or suppose you need like there are some static layouts on the start of the layout and then in between you have recycler view. So in this case, what you should do is you should do nested scroll view. So you can see, oops, sorry. Yeah, you can use nested scroll view for the parent scrolling. And suppose if you have recycler view in between, you just need to add this one extra parameter saying that set nested scrolling enabled false so that like you know the scrolling of the like the parent element which is the nested scroll view and the scrolling of the recycler views are not you know exchanged or you know it's not very um not very comfortable to scroll between uh, the views so this is mo a bit more when you need to build a complex layout And one more thing, if you need to see if, how can you do it in horizontal way, it's very easy. So what I'll do is, I'll just change the layout manager. So here I will say, you can see layout manager dot horizontal. So now if I run this, Was my explanation like good enough? I know it can be comp it can be difficult for some people to understand the adapter, but I tried my best to explain. I'm certainly learning something. Okay. I will definitely share this code with you so that you know you guys can keep like doing something on this code itself. You can play with it and try like what exactly each method doesn't recycle it.
I'll also show you the PPT. It has some links which I followed when um, I first learned RecycleView. It's always good to follow uh, the Android developers website. It's a bit complicated sometimes when you are new because you don't know which thing to use where. Now that's usually what I've seen people suffer from when they're new to coding in Android. Now here, because it's an horizontal one, it's just one element right now, yeah, you can see. The only thing you need to do is have this width lesser than like the parent so that the next element will be visible. You guys want to just Scott, are you there or we see your your name, but you might have, okay, all right, whatever. I don't know, he's muted. Um, I'm here. Okay, all right. So, um, do you I, have- I'm dropping. I'm sorry? Okay. This copy is on my phone. I have it hooked to the Bluetooth in the car. I'm doing 40 miles an hour in the rain right now. What's up, Barry? Scott, stop <laughs> this. Stop it right now. I'm somebody, watching. Can somebody call the local police on Scott? This is not right. All right. Okay. Um, Franny, oh, I'm not supposed to listen to my radio? <laughs> well, do you, Franny, um again, sorry if I'm getting your name Miss badly Americanized and mispronounced, but do you have a few minutes for any questions that people might still have? He didn't go away, did he? What happened? Well, this is strange. All right, I mean, let do, should should we should we take a few more minutes for discussion of any sort? Um, does anybody have responses or questions or something or whatever? I guess not. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, um, look, thank you all for attending this. If you have um, ideas about what kinds of topics you'd like to see me set up in Zoom meetings in the near future, then please um, announce that on the spreadsheet or direct message me on Slack. Or if you have any, any ideas or any, anything to say, um, direct message me on Slack and or um, post information on the spreadsheet that I have um, created. And once again, the spreadsheet is tinyurl.com lowercase y nine two lowercase o n six lowercase t q and with that i think i'm going to end tonight's meeting um everybody enjoy the the course and i'll be in communicate up oh, pranit there you you're back oh, sorry about that <laughs> did you did you did you did you get disconnected yeah yeah I don't okay. know that it certainly is like shut down and I restart my laptop. All right, so I'm gonna ask once more and see if anybody has questions for you, remaining yeah, questions. Please. So I was wondering for uh, the adapter class, yeah. so it's basically what make the uh, on create view holder, uh, on bind view holder, and then just define the uh, view holders uh, and yeah. the way um, it's set up. Yeah. So you just make make your own view holder, and then tell the one like on, tell on create view holder this is a view holder that you should use, and on bind you can do what you exactly need to do to the each element of recycler. So basically, the view holders is something that recycler view uses to you know do everything with each item of the list. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't case. get caught. Yeah, it doesn't get called all that much. It's mostly on bind that gets called when you have a big list. 
Yeah. So most of the things like the on bind view, on bind view, it, it keep gets keep on calling and calling. So the number of items you have, that many on bind view holders will be called. Other questions or? Okay, I think we're done. Hey, thank you again so much. I really appreciate this. Thank you for this. I hope uh, I made it better, like people could understand it. I know it's a bit more complicated. And uh, this is the first time I'm really explaining so much, like, in so much detail to anyone. So yeah. you can yeah, email. You. Yeah. Any review of this stuff is helpful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. I thought it was extremely useful. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks. No problem. I really yeah, appreciate here. it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you it was helpful to you guys. Okay, guys, everybody, thank you very much for attending tonight. And I will post this uh, meeting if I have space to do so and uh, put the URL on the Slack, on a mm -hmm. Slack channel or one or the other or something or everywhere. So have a good evening and continue coding, continue with the course. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much, Barry. And if you could send the recording, please do. Will do, will do. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you and thank you everyone for listening to me. And I hope that was clear enough. There's some disturbance coming in. And I'm going to click end meeting. I'm actually going to do it. Okay. <laughs>